Hi, this is Shop Talk and I'm Ria Panwat Cotrillo. We all aspire to live a full life. So if you feel like you're stuck in a rut or you're far from experiencing the best that life has to offer, then understanding the basics of life cycles may help. And in town to hold a seminar on the seven cycles of life is Houston-based modern sage and life mentor, Master Del Pe. Thanks for coming to the show, Master Del. Thank you for inviting me. I'm really enjoying my time in the Philippines. I just arrived. That's right. And it is a homecoming for you. You're of Filipino and Chinese descent and mm -hmm. you were born here, right? I was born here and left uh, when I was 20. All right. So you're a Pinoy in many, yes, many yes, ways. Yes, yeah. Yes. All right. Sure. Okay. So um, you have, uh, you're going to be very busy during your visit here, mm -hmm. but the highlights of that um, are two seminars you're doing. One is on the seven cycles of life and the other is on life after death. Yes, correct. Okay. Before we get to those um, in detail, how did you get to become a, a master of energy and life cycles? I was blessed to have uh, spiritual teachers. I was an engineer and I worked for the oil industry for 10 years. But then I was uh, saturated, I think, with material life. So I was searching for something more meaningful. I like money. At the same time, I like to search for a new truth. So I went to the Himalayas. I went to China, Japan, and I first mastered um, martial arts and then after that I was looking for more spiritual meditations and and I had uh, met many teachers in the Philippines and also psychics I went to Mount Banahao I met all kinds of uh, mm -hmm. search on the psychic things in, in the Philippines okay so how would you describe um, the wisdom and um, all the other principles that you teach? Is it under any one school or have you sort of uh, taken everything that you've learned over the years and, and made it your own or incorporated it into your own? Yeah, I was blessed to have also studied with other European missionaries, so my structured mind came from that. At the same time, the Japanese karate trained me to be very disciplined and organized. So based on those, those training from the spiritual components, I synthesized them into day-to-day uh, -day solutions to human problems. So it's very practical. At the same time, uh, there are spiritual solutions that can really help material problems. So I can synthesize uh, those in sessions like life coaching, also the healing sessions, and also seminars they can attend. Right, okay. So uh, speaking of the seminars, you will be speaking on the seven cycles of life. Mm -hmm. uh, what are the seven cycles and, and what is that based on? Well, these seven cycles is a, an ancient philosophy of different teachers that uh, brought the computation on how to time your decision making. At first it was used for spiritual awakening and spiritual development. But now I have seen that if people can learn this, they can plot the best time to conceive babies that have better qualities and not to have hyperactivities and to avoid dates that are uh, difficult in terms of money and many things. So you can, you can make a better decision with the tools of uh, the seven cycles uh, timing. All right, so let's go uh, through each of the seven cycles. You say a cycle begins after your birthday, am I right? Yes, there are 52 days per cycle. You divide uh, 365 days by seven, like seven days a week, and we have seven archangels, the seven days of creation. So the seven has a magical component right. to it. So 52 days per cycle from your birthday until your, your birthday. So if you can compute that, there are 52 segments like seasons of life that you can time your decision or make a, a better timing of uh, events. Right, okay. So the first cycle starts 52 days after your birthday and mm -hmm. you say that this is the period of uh, rebirth. What does that mean exactly? Like after your birthday is the best time to anchor your power. Your willpower is higher. Even children who are depressed or lazy, they tend to be more smart and they tend to become active during that cycle. First cycle is 52, day, 52 days after your birthday. Also, if you were asking for a promotion or increase of salary, that is the best time to ask your boss. Okay, 52 days <laughs> after your birthday and yeah. for the 52 days after that, am I right? Yes, from your birthday, you count 52 days, that's your first cycle. Ah, uh, okay. Now, if you were marrying somebody, that's the best time to become the boss of the marriage. Ah, so you, if you marry within 52 days after... You uh, are stronger your birthday, your, okay. in terms of energy and will. Okay. So for people who are planning marriages, that's a good but what time. If, what if you and your spouse have the same birthday? 
then you bought each other. <laughs> <laughs> no, both of you will be strong. And for people who are anchoring new projects, uh, opening new branches of their businesses, or opening new accounts, that is the best time to open uh, your business. Okay, all right. So the second cycle begins um, on the 53rd day after your birthday. Yeah. Uh, what's the meaning of the second cycle? The second cycle is good for love and emotional intelligence. It's a good time for healing, for matching uh, relationships. But it's not a good time for marriages or for bigger decision making because that is only transition. It's not a time for permanent decisions. I see. All right. And then, obviously, that brings us to the third cycle. Which the third I know cycle is a money cycle. Yeah, I was thinking a lot of people would be interested in that. Yeah, you multiply three times 52, and 52 days within that frame. It's one of the highest time to harvest financially. It's a material time and very mental time. The person would be a, a very good entrepreneur executive if you were conceived during that time. See, you, your parents have also a cycle during conception. So the conception time on the third cycle produces like the Bill Gates or the entrepreneurs. Oh, okay. Interesting. So, but um, is this also a good time to invest? Because you mentioned harvesting. Investing is like yes, planting yes, though, yes. right? Now, when you are uh, investing, that is the highest time for equity and for higher dividends. In fact, uh, the third cycle is a good time to uh, anchor financial energy, material energy, decision making for money is very uh, is very appropriate and auspicious for for a third cycle. All right, and the fourth cycle, what's the meaning of that? Well, this is an interesting cycle because it is like a, the midway between your birthday and your your birthday for the year. Now, there are cycles of the fourth that is the beginning, that is still money making, but in the middle it's uh, what we call malas. In Tagalog. Okay. When your bad luck appears, when you get betrayed, deceived, and tends to have accidents, so they have to be careful during that time, because that is when your negative karma, as they say, purge. But after that is the highest time for romance. Oh. In fact, uh, okay. a lot of my clients had reported that after uh, that middle point within the fourth cycle, that is the highest sexual and romance time. I see. Okay, so people are counting now, right? <laughs> <laughs> but also there's a double-edged part of that. Uh, there is a high stress on the fourth cycle because your emotions get very stimulated. Oh, there are heightened emotions, okay. And then, okay, you say uh, the fifth cycle is the harvest cycle? The uh, fifth right? cycle is like the harvest for the year. F five times 52 within that time. It's like the third cycle. The money is very high and also a harvest for your good work. And if you make decisions during the fifth cycle, you're more logical, you're more concrete and objective. It's a good time to put up a new business if you want to have high equity and harvest for your business. But you are more mental, so romance would not be the highest time. Okay, so it really has like its own seasons. Yeah, it's like right. a season. It's a time to plant, it's a time to harvest, right. and it's a time to lay low and take a vacation. Right, and it's different for everyone because you know, people, birthdays, yeah. people have different birthdays. Okay, tell me about the sixth cycle. The sixth cycle is a very smooth cycle for spiritual development. You are more psychically uh, in inclined, you are more intuitive during the sixth cycle. So investment can be done during the first part of it, within 52, 26 days within. It's a good time still for money, but the last part is good more socializing, networking, uh, dealing with your emotions in a higher level. and. Uh, healing relationships. Okay. So last but not least, we have the seventh cycle, and it sounds a little scary because you <laughs> call this the destruction phase. What does that mean? Yeah, the seventh cycle has uh, two different parts. The first part of the 52 days before your birthday is more spiritual. The last part is when all the malas in the world will come. It's when all your negativities will arrive and be cleansed. Right so, before so, your birthday. Yeah, before your birthday, especially around two weeks before your birthday, many accidents happen, betrayal, divorces, and all kinds of mishaps happen during that time. So if people have the same birthday and their last cycle is before their birthday, they should not be in the same car. They tend okay. to have accidents. Oh, right. Okay, interesting. Wow. Okay, now you've been teaching this um, all over the world for many years, right? I've taught it in different corporations like Sony Corporation in New York City. I've taught it to many executives and CEOs around, around the world. They're using this for decision-making now. Okay, and right, so what, what 
feedback do you get? What have people said? I mean, right now they are uh, unable to make decision now without computation because before you can have the right idea but in the wrong timing. So it's still uh, not succeeding. So my formula is you have to have the right idea done in the right time, which calls inevitable success. So a lot of decision making of my clients now are always based on the timing of their decisions, not only on the good idea. Oh, okay. And including conception. Okay. And so they've come back to you and said, this is amazing. I started a deal at this cycle when it was supposed to be, and it turned out to be incredible. I mean, do you get that kind of feedback? Or yeah. We conceived a baby at this cycle and, you know. Yeah, a lot, a lot of uh, praises to the techniques. Now, if you conceive before your birthday, it's a difficult baby. If you make a business out, out of the last cycle, it is like a diminishing return. Right, okay. So delaying is part of the, the time cycle, right? I mean, so some people might think, oh, but that's so impractical. I want to do this and I need to do it now for whatever reason. But yeah, what I do is I teach people how to use this as a proactive tool. Planning ahead of your life, ahead of time, making the right decision on the most auspicious time. Now, you can delegate decisions to the right person also. If you're on the wrong cycle, you can always delegate your signature or closing deals to somebody else with the right cycle. Ah, oh, okay. So there's always. Of course, you're going to delegate around. marriage, but. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the most important uh, contract of all, <laughs> right? But um, so you also teach this um, to, to the medical community, right? Yeah, I teach this to psychologists, doctors, because uh, I have observed, like for ADD children, hyperactive children, there's a time that their spike energy is 